It's okay. All right. Um, well, good morning. Welcome to this uh, press conference here at the Foreign Correspondents Club of Japan in Marinochi. I'm Anthony Rowley, uh, former president of the club, and I'll be acting as moderator this morning. Um, well, we're very happy to have as our speaker today uh, Hiroshi Watanabe, who is currently the president of the Institute for International Monetary Affairs, which is a leading Japanese economic research institute. And he's going to be talking to us this morning about the impact of the novel coronavirus on currency markets. Um, he is, of course, the former vice finance minister for international affairs of Japan. And he also served after that for a number of years as head of the Japan Bank for International Cooperation. Um, He's not actually seated next to me, as you can see, as he normally would be, um, but he is very close by. In fact, he's in this building. <laughs> um, and he's not being at all standoffish by not joining us, but many organizations, as you know, I'm sure require now that their executives or their staff shall not be taking part in any event if, if there are more than a certain number of speaker, people present. So he's being very socially responsible by keeping his distance. Um, okay, um, as I said, he's going to be talking about the, the impact of the uh, coronavirus on currency markets. And I, I think so far, the, the, the currency markets, like the stock market, has got off very lightly. I mean, despite all the trauma of the, the crisis, the coronavirus, the health crisis, the stock market is still riding high, almost back at its pre-COVID uh, uh, peak. And the currency markets um, also haven't been too badly affected. Um, but I think we may be living the period, the calm period before the storm. Um, the dollar, as you know, has been wobbling recently against other major currencies on some days. Um, and some people have even begun to question the dollar's long-term role as the world's principal transaction in reserve currency. And of course, it's also that the dollar has also declined quite sharply against precious metals, against gold, against silver. And so, you know, as a measure of value, it's, 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 uh, it seems to be losing ground too. Um, well, we're fortunate, as I say, to have um, someone with us who have, have what an Ibisan's international standing uh, to answer questions on currency market issues. Uh, just before handing over to Watanabe san I'll just say that uh, after graduating from the University of Tokyo, um, he then joined the, the finance ministry and held various positions, including that as head of the International Bureau be before he became vice minister. Um, and after that, he served for a number of years, as I also said, as CEO of the Bank, Japan Bank for International Cooperation. And I should also just mention quickly that apart from his degree from the University of Tokyo, he obtained a master's degree in economics from Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island. So please let me uh, hand over the floor now to you, Watanabe san. And anyone, if you have um, KTI mobile phones, if you could put, put them onto manner mode, please, as a courtesy to our guest. So, Watanabe san, please. Oh, thank you. And good morning, everybody, to that. And I'm very happy to see you here overcoming the <clears throat> coronavirus and also the heat stroke. <laughs> but anyway, the, today's um, my mission is going to explain what's going on to the currency market after the, the novel coronavirus or COVID-19 affect the economic uh, operation of each country to that. So first a few pages, you can just uh, summarize what's going on in the last six months to that. So next page, please. Sorry, does everyone have a copy of this? Or, uh, you don't? Oh. oh, if we have the, no. Uh, it seems we don't have the handouts. Um, Saikawa-san, can you, can you hear me? Uh, we don't seem to have the handouts in me, this in the room. Sorry, I just assumed everyone had got this. So do you have any trouble with the sharing some of the PowerPoint presentation? 
Oh, I see. Well, if you're if they're on the PowerPoint presentation, then it's okay. I think. Sorry, I just assumed that everyone would prefer to see this. But please carry on. I think if it's shown on the screen, that's okay. I see. Okay. Uh, I can see the uh, on my screen too. That so the but um, I'm going on to that. Anyway, the the current world economy is just affected by the. Okay, two page. I'm not a page ahead. Oh. Okay. This is the real situation too, that the last day, two weeks, every country has the, uh, made public the, this quarters, the GDP has been sharply dropped, 30%, 40% annual basis. And next pages. And the, originally it happened in the China. So the, even now the, Mr. Trump is going to call this the effect uh, the event on the, the Chinese, the viruses to that. But anyway, the, this is going to ex spread from the China to the other countries. But the recently, the, uh, the China is almost uh, the settled uh, down to that. So the, if you see the, yesterday, the, the TV program, the, the, the Wuhan has this big festival without any the wearing masks to that. So, but now the European country, even for the Southern Hemisphere, we are going to have some difficulty to that. So next page, please. And it is going to have some of the negative impact for the trade. Next page, please. So the, anyway, the, I think the people's movement is the, also the band and also the commodity has also not easy to be <clears throat> transacted. So it has the negative impact on the, the trade. And the next page, if you go, no. <laughs> and the, also it is going to have the general economy and also the market, the stock market and also the currency market to that. And the, at the time of the outbreak, the many people is very much worried about the negative impact for the stock market and also the currency market. The reality, Really, the stock market, they have some sharp the price down to that, but it was recently very recovered quickly to that. In the case of the currency market, today the same, it was no impact in the real sense to that. So I think that could be the, the, the two different type of the market, of the stock market and the currency market to that. The, today I'm going to explain how the currency market is not much affected by the the situation to that. So the two more, three more pages ahead. <clears throat> two more. Okay. And the, the next page, please. So next page is just today's my, the simple message to you to that. So direct impact of the, in the coronavirus is very much limited. As far as the excess liquidity is kept provided by the many central banks. And the US dollar can keep the strong position against the Euro and the Yen to that. And the currencies of the emerging countries are going to be weaker. That is my message to you today to that. Next page, please. And before the novel coronavirus, the Already the level change of the forex has long been in the limited magnitude. Sometimes people call it the box movement to that. So the, uh, the variance of the magnitude is very much limited to that. And the, one of the main factors of such kind of situation is a very much ample provision of the liquidity by central banks after the GFC, the 2008, uh, they became uh, the major factors to that. And next pages. And the unfortunate, oh, good. So the, if you see this diagram, so the blue circle is the situation January 1999 to the December 2001. That is three years after the introduction of the euro officially to that. And the red of the triangle is the July 2004 to June 2007. It's very much the, uh, between the, the beginning of the century and the, the today. And the, 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 the black square in the middle is simply the last of the three years to that. 
And the, this diagram says the relation among the yen and dollar and the euro. So the, if the, <coughs> uh, the dot is moving up to the northeast, that means the yen slogan stronger against the both currencies. And the, if the dot is going down to the southwest, it means the yen is the weaker. So the, at the time of the introduction of the euro and also the, during the time, it was the uh, New York Trade Center attack. So at the time, it, the yen is rather stronger against the two currencies to that. But the red, uh, the uh, triangle station, that was the very much weaker for the yen and the stronger for the two currencies to that. But the very significant the evidence you can find here is uh, the black the square is very much the, uh, the lim uh, limited spaces. So the variance is very much limited to that. So this is really the market to the stay in the box situation to that. And next page, please. And the, some people said the Forex has a very much strong relation to the trade, but it is really the misunderstanding or maybe miseducation in the last century to that. So the, if you see the Forex market, the size is very much enormous and only a small portion is traded for settlement of the trade to that. In 2005, when I was the, the vice finance minister, at the time, 15% of the total transaction of the foreign Forex is used for the trade settlement to that. But now it's less than 10%. Some people said only 6 or 7%. And the, now the main demand for the Forex is coming from the portfolio investment. So in which currency and in which the financial the tool they are going to invest, that is the main the, the motivation of the buying of the Forex to that. Next page, please. And the, maybe you may have the, some size of the feeling to that. So world trade is $39 trillion in one year, and the world GDP is $85 trillion US dollar in one year. But if you see the foreign exchange, $8.4 trillion in one day, if we assume that we have the 250 days operation, so the 2,100 trillion US dollars would be acted transacted in the forex market to that. So that is a reality to that. So the, we must the recognize that the impact of the trade and the volume of the <coughs> commodity transaction would affect the market or not. Next please. Yes. And the, the last century is the textbook of the economy or international economy the trade of balance is going to decide the level of the forex. But now the reality is the level of the forex can decide the trade balance on that. But the other the direction is not working to that. And the reason is the forex influence is only when the two countries produce the same goods to that. In that case, the, the value is the change by the forex movement to that. But if you see the China and the United States, they produce the same one, it doesn't. So if they do not, Forex has impact only upon the structure change in mid or long term. So US is going to think about which area we are going to live and even the China is going to think about which area we're going to think in the 10 years, 15 years, 20 years time, it is working on that. But very simply, the, uh, the short term operation, it doesn't work to that. And uh, sometimes the US Congress, even for the president, they criticize the Chinese action to that. But the manipulation in the Forex, even it, if any, gives negative impact on the countries competing in exports to an import excess country to that. If the China has a manipulation to the, have the lower or weaker the renminbi, it does not affect the US trade the, or US the industrial capacity to that. So, the, the China is going to <clears throat> have the victim of the Indonesia or even the Brazil. They are going to be affected by the, such kind of manipulation to that. That is the, the, the current situation on that. Next page, please. 
<laughs> then if the trade is not so much a big the component, what is the motivation of the forex transaction? This is a higher yield to that. Mm. That during 2000 and 2005, the early five years of the century, 3% difference in 10 year bond yield is necessary to have the strong US dollar against the yen to that. Exactly at the time, the 3%, 4%, 5% difference has been maintained. So it could have some impact over the foreign exchange market to that. But now, if you see the the market, the difference of the 10 years bond is always less than 1% to that. And also the still US dollar has a positive yield. Now the Japanese bond, even for the European country bond has the negative the rate to that. So in that sense, I think the, uh, the motivation of the Forex <coughs> is very much depend on the tradability of the currencies and also the liquidity of the currencies. Next, please. And uh, sometimes the Japanese yen and also the Swiss franc is called the safe currency. But the, what would be the meaning of the safety to that? And as far as the movement of the yen and the Swiss franc tells, future high value is not a real concern. And also high yield is also not a reason. Maybe the two currency can offer a good position. That is a predictability of the future movement. And that is also the less risk of the holding of that currency in the medium term. Next, please. Then they summarize what, why yen has been called safe. The government and the central bank of BOJ and the media are quite keen to Forex. And the strong bias for taking action in the forex market has been maintained to that, even I don't like it. But uh, so that means it also leads to the small volatility of the, the market. If the five yen depreciation or five yen the, the appreciation, the market it would be demanding to the government or the BOJ to act, have the smoothing operation or uh, such kind of the intervention to the market to that. So that means the volatility is very much limited. So it, it is really the minimizing risk impact on the market. Next, please. And the, always the, already you know the, the reality of the each government of the stance against the foreign, the forex market to that. So USA has been taking the benign neglect for more than 20 years or maybe 30 years to that. And the European Union, sometimes maybe the French is really wants to join to the intervention to the market, but the 17 countries cannot have any possibility to reach consensus. Sometimes they discuss on that, but nothing has been <clears throat> taken to that. Only one exception in the the market is a September 2000. At the time, the euro has been so much depreciating. At the time, the eight, eight central banks had joined to the rescue operation of the euro. But since then, the euro has been the free from any intervention from the rescue or maybe even the dumping to that. But as you see, the Switzerland and the Japan in the one central bank, one, one the entity of the decision making can easily to taking the action. That is the, the difference between the Euro and also the United States and the safety currency holding Japan and the Swiss, Switzerland to that. Next page, please. And this is the, the monthly movement against the United States dollar to that. So the, if the, Swiss franc and the Japanese yen is moving same the, uh, the direction. In that case, the, uh, the point of the movement is the along the line from the northeast down to the southwest to that. So that means the Swiss franc and the, uh, the, the Japanese yen is moving very much the same way against the dollar and also the euro. Uh, against the dollar to that. And the next page, please, is the, if you, we see the movement of the dollar and all uh, the Swiss franc and the Japanese yen against the dollar and the euro combined, 
it is a little bit changing. So the you Swiss franc is always the staying flat to that, and even the Japanese yen is flat because it is not on the line between the northwest, uh, the northeast to the southwest. That means the U.S. dollar and the euro would be two currency is the mutually offset the movement to that. So it has a really diff different impact for the movement of the Swiss franc and the Japanese yen to that. And next, please. No, thank you very much on that. So this is my the very brief the explanation to that. So I'm very much the, the looking forward to have the very good question from you to that. Thank you very much. Okay, well, uh, I would <coughs> like to start off with a question myself, which is, um, you know, we, we're talking about the impact of the coronavirus on currency markets, but really we should also be talking about the impact of the um, tensions between the United States and China, which have obviously risen to a very acute level recently, and especially with the US election coming up. And um, I don't know, what and I was saying, whether you saw last week, there was a rather long report by Reuters news agency in which they interviewed economists and other experts in China and in the United States and elsewhere. And they set out a rather alarming scenario in which they suggested that um, the United States, because of its um, conflict with uh, China, might even um, try to cut China out of the international payment system, uh, which of course would be very serious if it, if it happened. And that China might retaliate by promoting the, the renminbi uh, more as a, as a, a trading and reserve currency in, in order to um, hit the dollar, as it were. Uh, very briefly, I mean, how serious are, is that threat, do you think, that uh, the United States could attempt to cut China out of the international payment system? Well, maybe China would have some of the motivation to have the influence to the international the currency market to that. But so far, the, uh, they don't have the, such kind of the strength to that. The one of the reasons is that still the renminbi has the, the negative the hurdle to be the international currency, especially for the key currency to that. The first one is still they don't have any uh, universal compatibility to the other currencies. And the second hurdle is that they will, still they keep the very tight the, the control of the movement of the capital inflow and outflow to that. And the third one is they still the, they don't the decide the, or maybe the, I don't say they, the renminbi is not the, the that value is not decided by the, the market to that. It is the decided by the, the basket of the currency's movement and the will of the, the People's Bank of China to that. So in that sense, it's still they have the very much the weak this position to be the international currency to that. But the, uh, in the long run, the Chinese trade, the share in the world market or world trade is very much the expanding. In that case, the, they want to use their own currency to the settlement of the such kind of trade to that. Still now, the, even the China has to rely on the US dollar to have the, the settlement of the trade to that. So that would be the, the future difficulty for China, especially if the US is more harsh against China, even the Democrat and the Republican would make the strong position against the China. In that case, the, the China is, is going to have some of the, uh, the difficult position for the using the US dollar to that. So even I don't say the US is going to make this, uh, the monetary sanction the recently to that, but in the future, it might have some kind of the impact to that. If you see the old days, the, the Iran had some kind of difficulty. At the time, the Iran was not the allowed to use the US dollar for any settlement to that, so it has the been much difficult situation. So the Iran is going to have the, the Gulf areas and also the China and even the Russian. So these three currencies is very much is sold by the Iran, but it doesn't work to that. So, but in the case of the, between the China and the United States, China the the size is very much the enormous. In that case, the 
China cannot rely on the other currencies to that. So anyways, they have to rely on the US dollar or they have to rely on their own currencies to that. So the, as a mid-term or long-term, the, the dream, the 100 years anniversary in the 2049, so the China wants to have their own international monetary settlement system to that. So they are working very hardly. But as far as I said, they have the three hurdles. It is not easy to go into that. And the, once the Facebook had announced the Libra <coughs> idea, the China has recognized, oh, oh uh, the, even the European country has some kind of the, the allowance to use the other uh, the currency or other the financial the, the, the unit issued by the other entities. So in that case, the China can offer the similar position as the Facebook to that. And also the, the Chinese, the People's Bank of China has already started to the central bank digital currency, the operation to that. I think it could be the way go, go on in the, in the future to that. But, but as far as I see, the, they cannot overcome the three hurdles within the 20 years. So the, it is very difficult to predict the within the 20, 30 years, the Chinese renminbi or the digital the Chinese renminbi would be the key currency in the market to that. That's my observation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyone in the audience here? Yes, uh, Kurt. Um, can you, I'm not quite clear. Normally, I hope I can hear the, the microphone. Oh, right. But we need, we need to have on the, re, the recording, so let me bring the microphone to you. Normally we have a microphone. Oh, there is a microphone. Can you use this one there? Oh, oh, Well, thank you very much for the presentation today. My name is Kurt Sieber. I'm an associate member of the press club. I'm referring to your um, page about safe currency. And uh, well, you put pretty much Switzerland. I'm Swiss, by the way. Uh, <laughs> and uh, um, Japan. I'm living in Japan for 60 years. So uh, both these currencies are really safe currencies for me. But uh, how do you see the situation for the Japanese yen to develop uh, considering the very substantial increase and now accelerated increase of uh, the sovereign debt of uh, Japan, which uh, is well by, by far now the um, the late well, the, the biggest one in the world and uh, in, at least in percent of the GDP. So uh, how do you see the Japan, Japan financial situation to, to develop during the uh, next 20 years until 2040? Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Be very good question to that. So the, maybe you keep to rely on the Swiss run, not on the Japanese yen. <laughs> and the, as you pointed out, the Japanese, the, the fiscal position of the government is not so the, uh, the <clears throat> comfortable to that. So they already, we have accumulated a huge amount of the government debt, including the central bank and also the local bank to that. So it is nearly more than 200% uh, of the GDP and the even now that some of the American economists or even some Japanese economists said MMT can help, we can issue the, any amount of the bond to give the fiscal stimulus to the, uh, the economy to that. But I think the, uh, the such kind of the accumulation of the bond itself is going to have some difficult situation to that. But maybe the one thing that I can say is uh, the last 20 years, the Ministry of Finance and others are very much the excellent economist said, such kind of accumulation of the debt is going to increase the uh, interest rate to that. It could have a very negative impact for the operation of the budget making to that. But the reality is the interest rate is very much limited. So as you see, the, the many central banks in the 
the developed economies has the provided huge amount of the liquidity to the market. Even the emerging economy is going to have such kind of situation to that. So I think the money is almost a flood in the market. In the old days, money is very scarce. In that sense, I think the very bad fiscal position is easy, easily to raise the interest rate in the market. But now the more surprise coming. So in that sense, I think even in Japan and Europe, and also the someday emerging economy can enjoy the very low the impact, sometimes the negative the, the rate to do that. So I think it is a very difficult situation. But from now on, I think the if the Japanese government or doesn't take any action to the, the consolidate the fiscal position to that, it could have some the negative image to the market to that. So and the, uh, I don't think it happened suddenly to that, but it gradually is going to have the negative impact to that. So the uh, the current situation of the, the yen to the dollar is 105 to that, but I think the 110 and the 115, 120 would be in the uh, the future movement on to that. So I think the, the two digit the, the situation is not so uh, the possible in the coming years to that. So the little, a little bit weaker yen gradually in the coming 20 years would be the, my observation to that. So the, but I think this plan is going to be the follow the euro movement to that. So the, I think the euro itself is very much fragile at this moment to that. So the, the Swiss plan can stick to the euro, but the euro is almost drifted. So that would cause some kind of difficulty to that. But I think in that sense, the image exchange the Swiss one to the Japanese yen or to the US dollar, that could be the best position we can take to that. Thank you. Okay. Um, yes, you have a question, please. Hello, my name is Gumnani. I'm an Indian who grew up in Japan. Uh, one question, recently the US has been in a free fall against the major currencies, Euro, Sterling, Swiss. Do you feel this is to be continued for some time? Uh, second, what's your view on the British pound? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I think the even the U.S. government can take the policy with a free fall to that, but I don't think it works to that. The, if you re the recall the last century situation, even the, the U.K. is not the number one economy in the world at the time the U.S. was rising, but the sterling pound can remain the key currency position for the next almost 30, 40 years to but even now the US is the largest economy. So I think the, the market rate, the US can take, keep the position. If you take the PPP, the China is already the number one economy to that. But I think the, the currency market, it will be very much related to the, uh, <clears throat> the market rate of the situation. In that sense, the US can keep the position and the US dollar can keep the, the position of the key currency in the international market for the coming. I think the maybe 50 years, as far as I live, I, I don't see the, any the other currency is going to be the new position of the key currency in the world to that. So if the China is going to change very quickly, it does happen within 30 years. By the year of the 2049 of the 100 years anniversary of the, the People's Republic of China, the establishment to that. But I don't think it's still the pace of the, the recovery or the, the, the pace of the restructuring of the RMB is very much slow to that. So they, I don't think it would be for the mid midpoint of the, this century, the US dollar can keep the very strong position to that. So. And the, so in that sense, the US dollar can, or US government can say anything to that, but the market reaction is still keep the dollar as the number one key currency in the market to that. So I think it doesn't to change very quickly to that. So it takes another 30 or 40 years to go on to that. Um, your question of the starting pound, the, still the, I don't think 
well, I don't understand what the British is going on in the future. To that. So the, the Japanese government is going to extend the hand to the rescue to have the, some new trade agreement with the, the UK to that. But I think the UK action is very much limited to that. So the, the, the very recently, the, the Prime Minister Johnson is going to start criticizing the China to that. But the last 15 years, very foolish to the previous the prime minister can have the no words to the China's very bad action to that. So that I think the the British is going to do the influence of the international politics and of the international market. And also even for the trade and also the position of the intermediary in the London market to that. In that sense, I think the uh, the British fund is not so much uh, the favorable you know, the currency in the world to that. My own feeling is uh, if you go, we are going to keep the SDR in the IMF, we should kick out the renminbi and the British fund at this moment to that. Only the three currency would be kept. That is a good case. Thank you. Okay. Uh, does that answer your question? <laughs> we, we have a question online from um, Reuters from Rocky Swift question is, and I'm reading it, most major economies have undertaken massive money, money printing, a stimulus to cope with the effects of the coronavirus. Uh, he asks, do you see any relative difference in the major currencies from this stimulus, or are they largely decoupled from monetary policy these days? So, in other words, is the massive monetary money printing stimulus going to affect um, these currencies, or as he says, are, are they decoupled from monetary policy these days? Well, the very good and very the difficult question to that. But so far, see the fire is the on to that. The how to the extinguish is very much important to that. So we don't discuss that too much time on the who would be blamed and what would the the future the risk recovery plan to that. So. At least coming with the half year or one year, the each government the policy on the printing of the money or the putting the, the big money into the market would continue to that. So there would be no much big difference to that. But the, each the country had the, some the the limit of the uh, keeping such kind of position to that. But I, so in that sense, I think the mid year of the 2021. Uh, the each government is going to think about how we can go on to that and how we are going to uh, the restrict the, the the rescue plan to the economy to that so the which area would be kept and which area would be you know very bad was in the abandon would be decided to that this is a reality to that so I think the 2021 so if the IMF and the World Bank well, the G20 meeting can be held in the April in the 2021. They are going to discuss the such kind of the difference of each country's position is going to have the good effect or negative impact for the world economy. That could be discussed by them to that. That is the position to that. But I think the, so far, uh, the US and also the Euro area and also the Japan is keeping the same position to that. So the at least in the latter half of this year and another maybe half a year, the we don't have any big change of the uh, the deviation of the position to that. Thank you. Um, just following up on that, I mean there is a perception now that money is being printed furiously. Um, and you know the and presumably dollars are being printed faster than any other currency. So what impact does that have on the exchange rate? Just the perception that money is being printed furiously and some money is, some currencies are being printed faster than others. Does that affect the exchange rate? Well, I think the, uh, maybe the US is the printing very quickly to that, but the, the supply of the, the dollar is rising, but the most of the dollar would not be kept by the foreign the market but the foreign government and the foreign entities and the foreign companies to that, it could recirculate it into the US. That is why the stock market of the United States is so much high to that. There is no mm -hmm. reason 
in the economic senses to that. But I think the money is the, uh, the flooded. So the, there is no way to keep on that. So the only, only the money is going on to that. So in that case, I think the US very quick speed of the printing money is the sustaining the US, the stock market, which it is very much unhealthy situation to, but mm -hmm. I think the reality. Uh, sorry, if I just follow up once more on that. I mean, the stock market is, is remarkably high, uh, given the shock to trade, given the shock to employment. Um, at some point, do you think, what I was saying, that the, that the financial system is going to face a bigger shock? In other words, when they realize that the, the trade shock is going to last longer than people think it is, and the employment shock is going to be greater than was originally thought, that this will cause a possibly dramatic um, correction in stock markets and in other areas of the financial markets. Yeah, if the, the US, the authority and the Japanese authorities and even for the European Union authority has a very the sound, the, uh, the thinking. That sometime it could be big change on that, but I think the now the uh, the Japan and also the US has a very much the unstable political situation to that. So it is not so much the good movement for the consolidation of the fiscal position to that. Even the Euro, uh, there would be some movement of the joint working of the Euro bond operation. So the Germany is going to make some kind of action to that, but the Merkel is going to leave very soon to that. So in case in the political, uh, situation of the big, the uh, three, the the core, the economy is going to have some of the, uh, the unstable situation in the coming days to that. So the, the during the time that I don't think it would be very much important decision would be taken to that. So that I think the at least as I said, in the half a year or maybe up to the next day for you, the, the each country's position is very much drifting to that. Even the FRB wants to do something, but I think the political situation of the US is not allowed to take the position. So they can keep the current position at least for another half a year to that. Many criticism is coming to what I think the action or decision is not to be easily taken to that. The same for Japan to the, and also the same for the European Union to that. So that I think the the, the current the position would be kept for another and a half year or so. To, then we are going to think about, as I said, the each country is the the power of strength is very much different, and some country is going to be face the some the big the cliff. Or oh, so in that case they have to decide on that. Then they are going to have some position to that. But I think the. Even at the time, the U.S. is keeping the best position to that. So I think the, the dollar at the position would be not so easily affected by the other country's position to that. So we've got six months before we see a possible correction. Uh, yes, Kurt, you have another question. <laughs> Good see, but again, um, the, the U.S. dollar has been um, weakening against the Swiss franc and to a, a little bit lesser extent the euro during the past um, two two months. I would say by 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 almost ten percent. And uh, as you mentioned, uh, the uh, United States has been pretty. They have been very strong in calling the rest of the world as the, the, the currency manipulators. But now we are going in the different direction. On top of that, really, uh, what I believe, what, what is going to be the, the effect of the, well, the, the presidential elections in November? How will that uh, influence the uh, well the international currencies? I mean, uh, Mr. Trump has some very special ideas about that, uh, like for instance to uh, uh, 
well, they dissolved the FDR. Uh, that's one of his uh, recent threats. And on top of that, he thinks the dollar is nothing. We should, the United States should have uh, a new gold standard. So these are questions which uh, are going to be greatly, uh, let's say, influenced by the results of the uh, elections in November. Thank you. Well, th <clears throat> thank you very much. Also, I'm very much worried about the, the outcome of the election to that. But I think the, the Trump's idea of the gold standard and also the selling SDR is not so these serious issues. I don't think he has such kind of good mind to discuss on the issues to that. And the, but I think the if you, uh, I agree the the euro and also the the following with this run is very much appreciated against the, the dollar in the last two months. But the maybe ten percent is rather big in the current the standard to that. But as uh, you see the my uh, the graph the. Uh, the old days, old days that mean only 20 years ago, the such kind of 10% movement is not so much the, uh, the extraordinary to that. So it's very much the, <clears throat> the regular position to that. But I think now the US message to the Euro and also the, uh, the following currency, the Swiss run, is the US is going to attack not only China, but the U.S. is also going to attack the Germany to that. The Germany and the China is the two largest trade the depending the countries in the world to that. So the the Mr. Trump he prefers to the weaker dollar. That is not the commonly held by the American citizens. To that. But I think the what he said is uh, our dollar is too much strong. So the, it has we have very uh, the <clears throat> negative, the outcome for that. So it should be then amended. So in that sense, I think now that the China dialect, the criticism has been already expressed. But in the case of the Germany, no more the Germany doesn't have any the Deutsche Marks. So the, it is a member of the Euro and the, the Euro is somewhat weaker than the position of the, the, the Germany due to the very much the the weak, the economic management of the southern European countries to that. So I think the, the Germany and the Netherlands, these two countries may very much good the position of the weaker Euro. So that would be a little bit the amended, maybe in the sense of the Mr. Trump. So I think such kind of the pressure is going on. So I think the market has realized such kind of the uh, the intention of the Trump administration to that, that could be uh, somewhat the, uh, the affected or somewhat influenced to the market to that. But I, even I said so, the the European the interest rate is almost negative after the seven years to the eight years bond of the, the government bond is still the under the just the sea level to that. So I think the U.S. the interest has been positive, even though it is, much, it is very much limited to that. So I think the, the depreciation of the, Euro, uh, the dollar is not so much the going further more to that. So that I think it is almost to the, the end of the, the story at this moment to that. So I think the position of the Euro and the position of the US is going to be uh, very much the uh, secure at this moment. And the, the same position is going to be happen in the, the game position to that. So this is the reason why the <coughs> very recently the, the currency movement is very much limited. Thank you. Can we just come back briefly to gold and, and silver? I mean, um, obviously assets, paper assets, including US bonds in, in real terms are not, are not giving a positive yield now so the appeal of gold rises um but to, to what extent do you think um you know the fact that there is so much money printing going on is is causing people perhaps to lose faith in paper currencies in other words is this rise in the gold price and the silver price 
something that might continue as people see more and more dollars printed and lose faith in paper currencies, or is it simply a temporary adjustment? Yeah, some people talking about the gold standard, that, but as you know, the, as the supply of the gold is very much tiny against the total uh, the volume of the dollar, euro, and the and other currencies combined to that. So the people with the, just thinking about to go back to the old, the, the tradition to that, but in reality, even the, uh, the people are thinking about uh, the gold, but the gold standard would not be possible in the coming days. It, even uh, you can put the name of the gold standard, it could be supported by the other countries or the big countries, the uh, assistance to that. So this is not so much big change over the current situation to that. So the currently the US dollar is supported by the US government or FRB to that. And the, this is the confidence to the, the government and the central bank by the people or, the, or in the market participants to that. So <coughs> even the, the name of the gold standard can be given. So the situation is not so much being changed to that. So the, the, maybe one of the reasons why the gold standard is the, the discussed is that, that sometimes the volatility of the, the dollar and the euro, even the yen, is the so much big to that. As I show you my the other graphs to that, so the, the beginning of the century and also the, even for the 10 years ago, the, the other movement is very much volatile to that. But now the people is going to think about somewhat the, uh, the limited areas, the box operation to that. If they, can rely on the such kind of the good of predictability. Of course, this, this is the less the risk in the market operation to that. Of course, the market intermediary doesn't like such kind of the, the, the stable position to that. But the real the economy, the workers, the producing, or the manufacturing company and the trade company, and also the, even for the consumers prefers to have the stable position to that. So in that case, I think the, they are going to have the one good the standards that would be currently the, the government, the confidence to the government over the, each country to that. They, of course, the, some of the, uh, the Latin American country and some of the African country has already lost such kind of the confidence. So they can have the, the currency border system or they are going to use the other currencies as their own currency to that. But the, the big economy cannot have such kind of situation to that. So I think the, in that sense, the, still the, they are going to the, give the, some confidence with some kind of the suspicion to that. But such kind of the, the government or the central bank supported the currency system would be the only the choice we can have in the coming uh, at least 20, 30 years to go. Then the, if the, the world, the government or the world of fiscal, the, uh, as the French people like to say, the Ministry of the Finance of the European Union, if the Ministry of Finance of the, the universal, the, uh, the global government, in that case, we can work some different ways to that, but the, I don't think it happens. So in that case, still the, they are going to have some the, the possibility, confidence to the largest economy. So in that sense, the, of course, if the US made a mistake, <coughs> we don't have any such kind of the, uh, the coping point to do that. So that I think the US is going to be managed very good ways to that. So in that sense, I'm very much worried about the, what's going to happen in the they are in November of the outcome of the election to that. So the new, the president and the new administration is going to keep the, some sound the management of their economy to that. So I think that is very much good hope for us to that. Thank you. Okay, uh, we're almost out of time. Uh, anyone have a final question? Um, just all right, one very quick final question for me then. If President, if, if Mr. Biden does win the election, 
in the States, which is looking rather more likely now. What impact will that have on financial markets and the stock market in particular, do you think? And on the dollar, indeed. Well, I think the currency market, neither of them has the impact to that. Not negative, not the positive to that. So I think the currency market is somewhat immune from the outcome of the <clears throat> Uh, direction to that, but I think the stock market would be affected to that. So the, if the stock market is going to the collapse, in that case, the money is going out, and to which country the money is going out would be some of the impact for the currency market. But I think the currency market itself is not so much the uh, the <clears throat> influenced by the outcome to that. Anyway, the very the <clears throat> Uh, the mild Trump and the healthy Biden we like to have. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you very much indeed for uh, talking to us. I have here a one-year honorary membership, um, which we normally give to our guests, um, which I will bring to you later. But thank you very much indeed for coming out in this awfully hot weather to talk to us. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much.